AT&T wants to erect a 150-foot cell tower on a tree-filled lot off Cottage Hill Roads and Lloyd's Lane. The lot backs up to the Muir Woods neighborhood, and if constructed, the tower would sit about 15 yards from some homes. A normal state and local regulations would not permit this at all, but the federal government has superseded this. And now we have this looming structure that's going to decrease property values, decrease the ambience of the neighborhood. And my concern is, is to tell other people in this community that this could, you could be next. Residents are naturally concerned about the tower's appearance, but also about potential health risks. It's very concerning having it so close that down the road 10 years from now we may find there's some health risks that we don't know about right now. Dr. Albert Pearsall and his fellow neighbors joined an impromptu HOA meeting about the proposed project. Council member Bess Ritz joined too. I think there are concerns about um, the tower coming under the FCC, which supersedes our city codes because there are so many things that don't fit with this tower as far as the height that the structure is, how close it is to their backyards. And um, again, that's something where our codes, our city codes, would protect them. But the FCC and federal guidelines are a lot different. AT&T representatives failed to get back to us today with answers and explanations. But the Muir Woods HOA president, Jane Conkin, tells us that AT&T's attorneys said the parcel in question is the only place within the defined area where they can place a tower. Conkin says AT&T is asking the Mobile City Board of Adjustments for several variances or exceptions to local business laws. The Mobile Planning Commission is scheduled to take up the matter further next week. Joe Salvatore, Fox 10 News.